it's funny, I, I want to encourage you guys, because I've really, this past year and a half, God has just done something. You see, you, know, you look back and, and you hope you grow throughout the years. You should be growing throughout the years. And, you know, I look back to even, you know, seven years ago, eight years ago, and, you know, looking how and everything I lost my wife to cancer and that whole battle of, of trying to walk through that. But God just uh, was so faithful. But I've grown a lot. In seven years when I started doing this whole thing, I've grown a lot. And I think that my understanding more of just my calling has kind of uh, been refreshed and renewed and understood a little more. And I realize, because how often, and I know that I do this, and how often do we do this, that we try to build these little kingdoms here. And I know that every time I try to build this little kingdom here on this earth, that first little thing, because I build it out of sand, because anything we do on our own strength and own flesh, it just it doesn't last, you know? So I build this kingdom, and that first thing that happens, it just gets squashed. And I'm frustrated. I'm like, what's going on? Why isn't this working? And God just lovingly reminds me that we are not here to build our kingdoms. You see, it's to set your mind on things above all things of this earth. Because we get very tunnel visioned here. And we, we say, okay, I, I got to do all these things while I'm here. For my, I got to make the most money I can. I got to meet the most people I can. The most success. And you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be satisfied with that. Only through Jesus Christ and His love will you be satisfied. That's it. So we are here only to do the kingdom of God. And listen, I want to encourage you because it, it starts. Well, how do I do that? How do I don't understand all these Christian terms that you're saying, maybe? Read your Bible. And here's the thing. I love this. and I, I read this today. I'm actually going to read it. But first of all, it says that the, the Word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword that is living and it's active so that means when you're reading god's word it's not just words on a piece of paper that's all oh, that's good that's good to, to follow there's power in the word of god and it we, we sometimes get this whole concept of have you done your devotions today and if we don't then god's angry at us because god's not angry if you're not reading and praying you're just missing out <laughs> You're missing out on, on loving Jesus more. You're missing out on all the goodness of what Christ has. You're not going to grow if you're not reading and praying. You wonder why things aren't working out. Well, are you building your kingdom here? You know what I mean? In the scripture, I, I love this. So that you must continue in the things that you have learned. So 2 Timothy 3, 14. And been assured of, knowing from whom you've learned them. And that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for the doctrine, reproof, for correction, instruction, righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So if we're not doing this, we're not going to be thoroughly equipped to do the works of God. What does God say? He says, to love the Lord that God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. And how do you do that? Well, it's spending time with Him. See, this generation is desperate. And I feel this urgency in my heart that I have never felt to this intensity. And you guys, listen. Once again, it's not our kingdom. If you're doing that, you're going to be miserable. You may feel okay now, but eventually it'll be crushed. Mm. And the thing is, is how do we go and reach these people to, to love thy neighbor as thyself, which is the second commandment? Well, you can't do that effectively unless you're loving the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, and soul. It says, seek me and you will find me if you seek me with all of your heart. Listen. You want to see a generation move for Jesus Christ, it starts in your heart. It starts with you loving the Lord with everything within you. And then you will effectively know how to love people. We can't do it in our own strength. I don't have good days every day. I don't always love people. You know, I love you guys right now. Have a good time with you this But we need to start on our knees because this generation is hurting. We're so busy building our kingdom.
doing sometimes. I get so busy. I'm, what am I doing? You know? But this song is my cry, my heart. This says, We are, we are in desperation. We need to reach this generation.